Very strict rules. And Atia, you spoke with a student. Her name's Sabrina Diaz about what happened here. Yeah, she's still locked in her room at Gordon Hall. How's she feeling? Well, other than being a little stressed and a little frustrated health-wise, Sabrina Diaz says she's feeling just fine. Like you said, she's been sitting in her room at Gordon Hall since stepping off the bus early Sunday morning. Sabrina Diaz has never been to Gordon Hall at SUNY Brockport's campus, but for the next two weeks, this is where she will call home. We just came with like what we had on hand, but they're providing us with like food. They they're taking requests for food. Um, they provided us with toilet. Diaz goes to the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City and was completing a year study abroad program in Florence, Italy. We had our daily life set out and then coming from that um, all of a sudden to this, it was kind of, it's kind of frustrating and upsetting. Because of the coronavirus outbreak, Diaz and 17 other students were flown back home and bused to SUNY Brockport's campus for quarantine. When we got on the bus, the, the guys kept saying, it's like, you have to wear a mask. And then afterwards, we just got here and we had to put it on. And then now in the dorm rooms, we have to wear it whenever someone comes in. Um, but we can't leave. We have to put it on when we get our food, which is like right outside the door too. For 14 days, she will be inside these dorms, isolated from everyone else, undergoing periodic health checks. We can't leave a room, that's for sure. We can't leave the building. Um, we have like a suite, so there's two bedrooms here, but we can't talk to our suite mate. We have to like coordinate when one of us goes to the bathroom, when one of us gets our food and stuff like that. The nurse calls us twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon, well, like evening, um, to check for our temperature. And that's pretty much it. And then she asks if we have like any other symptoms. Now, Dia says she's been passing the time by watching Netflix and catching up on some school works. Health wise, she says she's feeling just fine and that she hasn't heard of any other students testing positive for the coronavirus. Atia Collins, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you. Just to reiterate now, a total of 32 students will be quarantined in those dorms at SUNY Brockport as of tomorrow.